Hey guys, I'm starting the build of the Tomoquads Predator X and I wanted to uh, stop here and get, show you a little bit of how this frame is put together. Um, this is kind of a unique frame. Just want to mention that it's, it's three millimeters thick and it's uh, in terms of uh, up and down and also five millimeters in terms of width here. Normally you have an arm that's a little bit wider here so you can put an ESA on here but this is, is designed uh, for speed so that it can cut through the air so you want to you want to minimize the amount of uh, wind resistance that's being uh, generated by the arms here because of the quads moving forward like this and so this is designed to be very thin here but all at the same time you want this to be strong so it's three millimeters thick and it's uh, actually very stiff it comes with these uh, little um, plastic 3d printed uh, motor guards on the end to snap them on and comes with these uh, little uh, TPU printed um, mounting, uh, I guess I don't know I'm not sure, I'm not sure what these are called, the little TPU mount, mounts for the uh, ESC and for the flight controller and it goes here on top of the frame through these long screws that go through the bottom and so yeah you just um, end up putting the put the ESC over here and I put the flight controller on top of this that goes over that. So I'm just gonna uh, just show you all the parts that I'm using in this film. I'm using this uh, 10 amp Lumineer 4 uh, in 1 ESC BL Heli S. And I'm gonna be using the Pico BLX uh, flight controller. And the motors I'm gonna be using are these uh, the RCX that are from my RC Mart. The 1105 5000 kV motors. I was going to use the Rotorx 1105B uh, 6500 kV motors, but um, I ordered those from Helipal and even paid for rush shipping. This is before the Chinese New Year holiday and um, still hasn't even shipped yet, so I have no idea when I'm going to be getting those, if ever. Um, I ordered this actually about the same time, didn't even pay for expedited shipping, and these came first, so these are going to go on the build uh, for this one. Otherwise, uh, who knows when this is going to get built? It might 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 be might be never. And then I'm going to be using these um, thirty twenty five. Uh, these are like gem fan T props. And then here's the uh, top of the pod. I put this together already, just to give you an idea how it goes together. These two pieces here, and then the side plates. And then inside there is a uh, TXO two. That's what I'm going to be using. And it's uh, it's kind of it's actually kind of designed specifically for this camera. Um, you stick it in there. Uh, there's these, these two um, standoffs are actually holding the lens in place so that it doesn't move around. And then you can adjust the tilt angle with this screw here and this screw. You can you can twist it around to get the uh, the desired up tilt that you want for your quad and your flying style. The uh, receiver I'll be using is the uh, FlySky FSA8S receiver and so I'll be flying with my turn evolution like everything else so I'll go ahead and I will get a few more parts on here and I'll show you my progress as I go along okay guys made a little bit of progress here I added a, a JST connector to these wires at the end of the um, 4-in-1 ESC because it doesn't come with a connector on there so I just put one on and then I added a couple of um, extra wires here, the red and the black, solder them onto the same pads here for power to power the um, Pico BLX board and it goes right there because uh, none of the uh, ESC uh, wires are going to be going to the Pico BLX because this is a 4-in-1 ESC you just need the power to go to the board to give that power and also which will in turn power the receiver and also this is the little pigtail for the uh, TX02 and then I ran these wires that go into this plug here these are the signal wires for the ESC and you just have to make note that the, these numbers here correspond to these numbers on this board right here 1, 2, 3, 4 but it's not the same as in clean flight so this is 1, 2, 3, and 4 and so you have to um, understand that wire order and make sure that we have, for example, there's four, this is actually motor one. 
So this uh, four over here will be orange, goes to ESC one over here. So that's how I have this set up. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll mount this stuff. Um, I still have to add a buzzer that's going to go into the back and then my receiver pigtail. But for the most part, this part is is good to go. I'm going to go ahead and mount this. Okay, guys, I made a bit more progress here. I went ahead and I mounted the motors and soldered them onto the 401 EC. That's a, actually pretty easy. The only thing that you need to be aware of on mounting the motors is you're going to need some longer M2 screws than the ones that usually come with these motors because the uh, main plate here is three millimeters along with this uh, motor guard. Um, so I think the I found some five or six millimeter screws that I'm using here. And because um, this plastic here is actually threaded into these screws, I'm, I'm only using two because it, these aren't going to come loose. So I'm using two for each of these motors. And I just uh, ran the wire underneath and then back over into each one of the ESCs. So it's pretty simple. Um, mount, of course, mounted the 4 one ESC, uh, mounted the Pico BLX, and then the tricky thing here is in the back where there's a lot of stuff going on. You have the standoff here for the top pods. This is gonna be, that's one of four. There's gonna be another one here, another one there, another one there. And it's a little bit tricky getting that in there along with the buzzer that goes into this uh, little plastic mount here. And then running the uh, power cable out the back and around all this stuff. So you have this little screw that holds on the, the buzzer and you have a little screw here that holds on the standoff. So it's a, it's a bit tricky getting all that in there, but it's, it, it, as you can see, it, it worked out. And the other thing you need to be aware of is that this USB port here is going to be blocked by the standoff. So you should um, configure your, your um, flight controller along with your changing your motor directions and flashing your ESCs and everything before you uh, uh, stick the top pod on. But for the most part, this is pretty much done. This, these 4-in-1 ECs really make these builds a lot simpler and a lot easier. It's just that you have to fiddle with all these little small wires and stuff to get them to fit. But you can see here, it's um, looking pretty solid. And at this point, I'm going to uh, do the beta flight flash. I'll just flash the latest beta flight on here. I have a video that I've done flashing with this before. I'll put a card up here in the corner. You guys can check that out. Um, basically you just flash it, flash your ESCs, and then make sure your motors are going in the correct directions. It's pretty standard on all the builds, and I've, I've done like 20 or 30 builds on my channel, so if you can't find that video, then there's going to be another video where I've probably done before, so you're not going to see it in this video. Um, so that's about it. I'm going to flash everything, configure it, I'll get that top pod put on there, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so it's all done. It's actually a pretty easy build. Um, just a few little hiccups here and there, but really pretty minor, minor details. I ended up putting the receiver, my FlySky FS A8S receiver back here. And right in between this uh, uh, top plate between the pod and the flight controller, it just barely fits with a little longer standoff. I was trying to put it underneath the VTX here and, and it didn't fit so it actually worked out better that the longer standoff was in use here. And then I just have the antenna going out back, have it zip tied here so it's basically going to stay out of the way of the props. Got my 3 inch props here so this thing should be pretty fast. I'm going to be doing 2S first and then I'll see about a 3S test maybe a little later. Um, yeah, this is pretty simple to put together. I got my little five volts there for the camera on the Pico BLX, and um, it all came together pretty easily. I really like these uh, four-in-one ESCs. I'm gonna. I think these builds for the four-in-one ESCs are are uh, a lot faster. This is, this really uh, was one of the fastest builds I've ever made. Um, now, in terms of the size and weight of this, it's actually heavier than the XBL one one seven. And it's actually uh, about the same um, size. This is a 115 millimeter frame, and the 117 is a 117 millimeter frame. So they're they're pretty similar in size, but the XBL 117 can only take up to a two and a half inch propeller. 
whereas this uh, the Predator X can take a three inch propeller. So even on 2S, this is going to be a lot faster, and, I, and I've got a, a bigger motor on here as well. So it'll be interesting to compare the speeds between these two. I'll, I'll probably do that. But let me show you the weight difference. I think this one's about 55 grams, if I remember right. Yeah, so about 55 grams for that one. But this has the heavier um, 1105 motors instead of the 1103 motors, so it's going to be um, quite a bit more heavier. So I'm guessing about 70 grams. Oh yeah, so about 70 and a half grams for this one. But of course it's going to be, um, it's got the more powerful motors with the bigger propeller, so that's going to make a big difference even on 2S. So then here on the bottom, I decided not to use a uh, Velcro strap. Instead, I'm just I'm just using a rubber band that's going around the standoff here and on the other side and just going to stick my battery between this piece of foam and the rubber band. I, it actually secures uh, pretty well. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give it a fly now. Okay, guys. So I did fly this uh, an initial flight without any sort of vibration dampening on this camera mount here and I got a lot of jello and um, what I did is I actually took this all apart and I put this foam around the barrel of the camera lens here to give it a little bit of cushioning between these two standoffs and I think that solved the jello problem because my uh, subsequent flight after this um, seemed to be a lot better so I'll go ahead and I'll show you that uh, flight footage now.